And I think, you know, some of these were things that happened to you, but I think some of them also were things that you created for yourself. Now, I think, you know, I think you know this and I think you owned these mistakes and I think you're fine with them now. Everyone makes mistakes. It's quite normal. But you had a lot of struggles. And I think some of these mistakes you made were because of that. Uh, But I'm not giving you excuses. I think, you know, I think you owned these problems. But um I'm just getting this feeling that you, yeah, I think you are missing someone. I think you're missing someone, actually. Um, Yeah, I don't want to make anyone upset, um, but I think maybe you lost someone, um, someone who might not be uh, on this earth anymore. And um, you might have been looking over things and maybe um, you were thinking, you know, would they, would they, what would they think of this? Or or that, or what would they think of what I've done? Would they be proud of me? Would they like this? Would they be happy if I did this or that? And I think even though it hurt you, it really hurt you to think about them, obviously. You miss them, of course you did, I can see that. But this reflection, even though it was painful, it sort of forced you to um, kind of do the best you possibly could with a lot of things in your life. So yes, it was painful, but the memory of this person, um, I think, was helping you in this way. Now, uh, this card can be about alchemy, it can be about experiencing something that's unhappy or something that doesn't feel good, but then, you know, something new, some kind of new outlook or something like that comes out of that. Now, if this is resonating with you, of course, of course you would rather have this person back, of course you would. But, um, you know, your life's moving forward, life goes on, And, um, you know, you're achieving things because of the memory of that person, if that makes sense. Now, I hope that made sense to you. And um, I really hope I didn't upset anyone. I never, ever want to do that. I don't often see things like that. But um, every now and again, I do. And I really, I don't want to hurt anyone. That's not what I'm trying to do. Um, So the next card you have for your past is the Page of Pentacles. So I think you're also thinking about a relationship um, at this time as well. You're looking back on a lot of things. This was a really, this time in your past was really a time of reflection on a lot of levels and a lot of different ways. Um, So yeah, you're thinking about this uh, relationship, might have been a past relationship. And I think you might have been a bit on and off with this person over time and maybe the time that you spent with this person was kind of maybe it was kind of intertwined with your memory of this other person who you're missing um it might not be but i am seeing some kind of link between the two so maybe they you know they met each other maybe they got along might have been something like that maybe it was that the memory of one of these people was kind of making you remember the other person. It might have been something like that. Um, I'm also seeing that there was some kind of practical exchange around this relationship as well. I think maybe they might have helped you out financially or maybe you helped them out. Um, This card can be about newness, freshness, springtime, all of that kind of thing, things that are new. So maybe you started over with this person more than once. Maybe you had a few fresh starts with them. you know, there might have been a difference in maturity between you as well. I don't want to say you're immature, but I can't see who who's who. So maybe uh, maybe you're in different stages of your life or something like that. But they helped you up or you helped them up. That's what I'm seeing was one or the other. Now, I think you might have had a bit of a falling out with this person, actually. And I think um, this might be why I'm seeing them here, actually. Um, I don't know if you want to hear this, you might not, or whether you agree with this or not, but um, this is what I'm seeing, so I'm going to tell you. This is a good person. This is a good person to have around you. That's what I have to tell you about that. They're not a perfect person. Of course they're not. You're not a perfect person either. I'm not a perfect person. Nobody's a perfect person. Now, they might have done the things, they might have said things in the past that made you upset because something's obviously made you fall out with them or something. So something's happened there. I can see that. But they're not totally bad. They're not totally bad. They're human. And of course, you know, it's up to do up to you to do whatever you want with this message and this information. Um, if you don't want to talk to them, don't. That's absolutely fine. I'm not telling you what to do, of course. Um, 
But I am getting this message and it is for someone who might need to reach out to someone else and make peace with someone. So this might not resonate with you at all, but I am getting that message in this card and I feel that I have to say that. So the last card you have for your past is the Seven of Wands. Um, so yeah, again, there's this reflectiveness in this card and there's a lot of emotion going on inside of you at this time, or there was. Um, there are a lot of emotions going around you with these memories of people you're missing and you're reflecting, you're thinking about all of these things. And I think it really stirred up a lot of your emotions. And I think that maybe um, you might have felt a little bit defensive at this time as well. I'm, I'm getting this feeling of everyone's against me. I'm alone. I'm alone against the world kind of feeling. Um, and I'm getting this feeling as well of kind of not being able to open up to people. Maybe you felt a bit judged or something like that, but I'm not seeing any reason why people would be judging you. So that tells me that maybe it was that you were just a little bit oversensitive because you were over emotional. It might have been that. Now, I think you did need to offload. I think you had all of this stuff on your mind. You had to get it out of your mind. But you, you again, you weren't opening up to people. Um, and you had a lot of these difficult emotions going on inside of you, going around. Um, so if this is resonating with you, and if you're still feeling like this, if you're still feeling all emotional and upset and everything, and you have to offload, there is one person who you can talk to, I can see, and they are a family member. Now, you weren't really alone. You were missing these two people um, in the Temperance card and the Page of Pentacles, if this is resonating. But, you know, talk to this other person. There's another person I'm seeing. You need to offload. If you haven't done this already, you need to offload. You need to get this out of your head so that you can feel fresh and clear again. That's what I'm seeing. So the first card you have for your present is the King of Wands. Um, so I'm getting this... Yeah, I'm getting a very clear message in this card. This is what this is telling me. You are strong. I'm getting very clearly you are strong. That's all. You are strong. You're stronger than you think you are. And you're a lot more capable than you think you are as well. So you might be hesitating around a decision. I think this might be a very important decision. It might be a job decision, might be something around career. I'm seeing something like that. Because again, I'm seeing that you might have lost a part of your support network, actually, with these two people that were missing in your life. So, um, you know, things aren't as easy for you as they used to be. You might have been able to call these people or talk to them or text them and say, oh, you know, I've got this idea. I have to make a decision. I just need to run it by you. You know, what do you think? Do you think I should do this? And when they agreed with you or disagreed with you or whatever, it was just good to have that support behind you, that kind of backup behind you. But, you know, obviously now you don't have that. So, Things just aren't as easy for you as they used to be. So you might be struggling to make this decision on your own. But yeah, I'm getting, I'm still getting this very clear message in this card. And it's telling me that you are strong. You are strong. You know, this king, he wants to get up. He wants to do something. He wants to make a decision to do whatever he wants to do. But he's hesitating. But he's a king. He is a king. He can do whatever he wants. If you're a king, you can do anything you want. I was just reading an article yesterday about the queen. And she, she doesn't have to have a license. She can drive around without a license if she wants to, because she gives out the licenses. So she can do whatever she wants. Well, she doesn't, but she can. So he, this man is a king, or this king is a king, I should say, and he can do whatever he wants. So I know this might sound a bit cringy, but you're a king. You're a king. You're strong, you're capable, you can do whatever you want. That's the message I'm getting in this card, whether it's cringy or not. That's what I have to tell you. So you've earned the title. You've earned the title of being a king because you've been through so much. You've been through so much. You have so much experience behind you. You've been through so many things, good things, bad things, a lot of really difficult things. And, um, you know, you've been through things you've never, ever thought you'd ever get through, but you did get through them. You're looking back. You're, you know, this is what's happening in your past. You're looking back on all these things you've been through. You've been through them and you're here. You're survived. You're strong. That's what I'm seeing in this card. So again, 
talk to this relative, this person I was seeing in the Seven of Wands, if you need to. But make this decision and move forward. Follow your instincts and do this. Because I think once you've made this decision, you're going to be, feel very, very relieved that this is over and done with, that you've done this decision and now you can move forward. And you are strong. That's all I have to say in that card. I hope that wasn't too cringy. That's what I was seeing. I just had to say that. So the next card you have for your present is the world. So look at this card. This is a this is relief. This is freedom. This is how you're going to feel once you've decided on this, once you've made this decision. Look at how free this woman is on this card. She's up in the sky. She's almost flying. So if this decision is related to a new job or a new career or some kind of path of study that leads to a new career or something like that, it could be that as well. Um, you know, I think, you know, I think you'll do really, really well with this. I'm seeing you taking whatever this is very, very seriously. You'll be very, very committed to this if you do this. And I'm actually seeing you working a lot of hours. So you'll be really busy working a lot of hours on this. But you'll, this, is, this will be what you want to do. So this might be a new business, actually. It might be your own business because I keep on seeing something that's career or money related. But there's also, you know, there's positivity here. But I'm also picking up on mixed feelings. I'm seeing freedom, positivity, freedom, but also the weight of responsibility kind of all mixed in together. So that's why I think this could be your own business, because I'm seeing those things. You know, when I see freedom plus responsibility to me, that means your own business. It might not be that, but that's what I'm seeing. And this is going to be a lot of work for you once you've decided to do this. And I hope you do. Um, but it's very, very positive. This is very good what I'm seeing. So the last card you have for your present is the Ten of Wands. Yes. Hard work. This is going to be a lot of work if this is resonating with you. Um, and the dog's barking. The dog's even telling you it's hard work. So, um, yeah, it's going to be very hard work. But look at where this man's heading. He's walking toward a home. So this is going to get you to where you want to go financially. So you might be tempted to give up sometimes. Of course you will. And, you know, you might be tempted to give up and just drop these wands and run away. But you won't. You'll keep on going. Now, a lot of people would drop these wands, but you won't do that. You'll keep going. The other thing I'm seeing here is, um, this might sound a bit strange. I'm seeing that you might be, if this is a business and you are doing this, um, if this is resonating with you, you might be uh, tempted to diversify a bit too much. Um, if that makes sense, I'm seeing you maybe trying to do a lot of different types of things and they might be different. For example, if you have a shop, might not be that, but if you do, this is an example, um, you might, there might be different products in the shop and they might just be things that don't really relate to each other properly. Um, and it might be a bit too much, going a bit broad, if that makes sense. Because these ones look a bit spread out, they look a bit like a fan. And that's why this man can't see where he's going. So if they were narrowed in or if they were bunched in a bit more, um, he'd be able to see where he was going. I mean, they'd still be heavy, he'd still struggle, but he'd be able to see where he was going. So maybe this is something like, OK, I'll give you an example. This might be a crazy example, but I'll just tell you off the top of my head. If I started doing on this channel, if I started doing makeup reviews and movie reviews and drama channel and, and vlogs and different things, if I started filming cats and dogs, it would be very confusing. There'd be no focus on this channel and people would probably leave um, because uh, people are here for readings. Um, not all of these other crazy things. Well, I hope they're here for readings. But um, yeah, it would be too much. It'd be too many different things. So yes, I, you know, you might find that you have to narrow things down a bit to make things easier for you, more streamlined and less confusing for people who come to use your service or whatever it is you're doing. So I hope that all makes sense. And I know that's a crazy example. I'm sorry about that. That's just what came um, to my head. So the first card you have for your future is the Six of Swords. So, yeah, I think this person who you had this falling out with, they might still be feeling a little bit hurt, actually. I'm getting this feeling that they might still be feeling hurt by something you said um, or something you did, probably something you said, because words can mean sorts to me quite often. And I think you also might be feeling a little bit the same way about them, actually. 
Um, whoever this is, you know, they're moving forward in their life or they're trying to, uh, but they're still thinking about things. They're still carrying some of this hurt around with them. And, you know, they might be keeping themselves busy. They might be doing a lot of things to help them to kind of forget about all of this, but they still can't. Um, this is still on their mind at this time. So, you know, I think this person might have been in your last reading, actually. So if this is the same person, they still haven't moved on. So just know that this is how they're uh, how they're feeling at this time. And also, you know, they probably do blame you a bit. So maybe this is one of these things that you know you did, a mistake you made, maybe in the temperance card. I don't know, might relate to that. Um, and, you know, I don't know whether they're justified or not, but this is how they feel. They're a bit upset with you. And um, as I've seen in the Page of Pentacles, they're not a bad person, um, but either are you. But, you know, when you're hurt or when they're hurt or when anyone's hurt, things can magnify. And so they can people can see things as a lot worse than they actually are. So I think this might be happening. And I think this might actually be happening on both sides with you and with them. That's what I'm seeing on that card. So the next card you have for your future is the Five of Pentacles. Yes, this is a really sad card. So yeah, again, this person feels left out. They might feel pushed out. They might be hurt by something you've said. So again, I'm seeing that again. Um, the other thing I'm seeing in this card is, okay, so yeah, this could be a message to you. Um, I don't like saying things like this, but I, I have to. Um, don't forget your spiritual side. That's what I'm seeing in this card. Uh, you do have a spiritual side. You have a very strong spiritual side. But I think maybe you've had so much going on in your mind. You've had, you know, you've been so busy and you've had all of these emotional things, everything going on, that maybe your spirituality might have taken second place to that. Um, now, I hate saying this because it sounds like I'm trying to preach to you and be all preachy and everything. And I'm not like that at all. And I, I, I'm not doing that. So... Please ignore this if you want to, but sometimes when we've got a lot of problems and things going on in our minds, we can push that spiritual side um, of us aside and just focus on the actual problems. But sometimes if we bring spirituality back in and get some quiet time and contemplate and do that, that can help us with our problems. So maybe it looks to us as if we need to focus on problems from problems and put um, spirituality aside. But actually, because we think, oh, we don't have time for that, we don't have time for that. But sometimes if we make time for that, it can help us in our problems. That's what I'm seeing. So even things like meditation, whatever else you do, doesn't have to be meditation. Doesn't have, if, it's, if it's organized religion, fantastic. If it's not, fantastic as well. If it's going into a forest, if it's lighting a candle, if it's lying down, if it's going to sleep, anything that you do that calls to you that you want to do, make some time to do that. And I think this is going to help a lot of these things that you're struggling with. If you are struggling with these things, if you're still struggling with um, feeling negative toward this person, if you're still struggling with making this decision in the King of Wands, if you're still struggling with these emotions that are seen in your past um, and you're missing these people and all of that thing, if you're still going through this, um, I think the best thing for you to do is focus on a little bit of spiritual. It doesn't have to take long. It might be five minutes, anything. Um, and But focus on that a little bit and that's going to help you. Um, you know, if you look at this card, the poor people on this card, they're walking past this church. Obviously, they're very cold, they're hungry, and, you know, there's a light on inside the church, and it's warm inside, there's probably somewhere for them to rest inside there, there might even be food inside, or hot soup, or something like that, but they're walking past. So again, you know, I hate this, I really hate saying this, I don't want to be preachy, but quiet times to ourselves, whatever it is, can really help us with so many problems, even if it's just closing your eyes for five minutes, anything, anything that you personally like to do, it can really help you. So I don't want to say any more about that, but that's what I'm seeing. So I had to say that, and it really, I struggle with saying that to people, it really cringes me or makes me feel really cringy, but um, that's what I saw and I had to say that. It's, it's hopefully it will go out to someone that needs to hear that. The last card you have for your future is the Ten of Cups beautiful, beautiful card. So yeah, you have the world card in this reading and you have the Ten of Cups. So 
there's love coming into you if you're not already in a relationship. If you are in a relationship, this means happiness in your relationship. So you do have a very bright future in there. That's looking very positive for you. But if you're single um, and you do have this person coming into you, which is what I'm seeing, I don't think it's going to be this person who you've had this falling out with, who you've had this kind of on and off thing going on with. I don't think it's going to be them. Um, I think it's going to be a new person because the world's about new beginnings. And, you know, I don't know if this new person's already around you, but yeah, this is a new relationship. So even if they are around you as a friend or whatever, um, the relationship is going to be new. So it's not someone who you've had a relationship with before. Um, the other thing I'm seeing here is they might already have children or it could be you that has children or maybe both of you, but I am seeing some kind of blending of families here. Um, and there's a lot of happiness around this. Um, that kind of really new first in love feeling, which is a beautiful, I love that feeling. It's what everyone loves. Um, so this person might actually, yeah, this is a happy, beautiful card. But this person might want to you know, jump into things very quickly. They might say, oh, I love you. Let's do this. Let's do that. Let's go away together. Let's go away overnight. Let's have a weekend together. Let's move in together. Let's do this. Let and they might start going a little bit quickly for you. So if you, I don't want to poke holes in this. This is beautiful generally. Um, so I don't want to make it negative. But you know, if you want to take things slowly, maybe watch out for that. I am seeing a tiny bit of neediness in them, you know, around this person, especially around all of this work that I'm seeing you doing. They might see you doing all this work and they might think, oh, I wish this person would spend more time with me. It might be something like that. There might be a little bit of an insecurity around that, but they're just little things. I'm really just nitpicking that. This looks amazing. Very happy. Um, yeah, this looks really great, actually. Fresh, new, very happy, lovely new relationship. And, you know, if this is resonating or you don't know yet, you haven't met them yet. But um, yeah, I'm really, really happy for you. I'm really happy for you. And I really hope it does resonate with you.